Hi everyone, it's Desiree. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm doing a setup of my binders for my cash envelope system. I have some new envelopes that I actually made. There's a tutorial on my channel if you're interested in making your own with links to all the products and step-by-step -step how I make these for myself um, because they can be pretty pricey to purchase, but if you learn how to make them, then super quick to whip up on your own if you need them, which is what I did. I made some new ones because I was missing, well, I made some new categories and currently using like these um, envelopes with the little zipper pouch, which are great. These are great options to use as well. Uh, but I like to have more of the aesthetic look. So I am gonna be changing them out to here. And as you can see, I changed the font too because I like more of like a legible print. And it's so funny because in my wallet i have one that's called buffer and i've been making videos and i don't know i guess it's because like i've noticed it's from younger people i think that's what it is because i don't think they know how to write cursive i don't know uh or maybe read it or something but they keep reading it as butter <laughs> so um i think that's funny that they like people just keep reading my buffer envelope as butter so i always get comments about that um but it, it's only in my it's only in my shorts and my reels that I've been noticing that. In my videos, nobody ever says that. Uh, but yeah, I, I like the, the look of this font more, like just the cleaner font. This one's pretty. Oh, but I'm you know, changing it up. So eventually I'm going to change out all of these to this new font, but for this time being, I'm just gonna put, um, change out all my wallet ones and also the new, the new categories I have that I don't have an envelope for and a couple of um a couple of the ones I already have because when it, usually when I make them I make them in groups of three so I needed to pick one of the envelopes to make it just to make it an even three per each um sheet that I made if that makes sense so yeah and I messed up on one so Oh, actually, yeah, I messed up on one in here. I think I messed up on the road trip one. One of these is not the right one. I think it's this one. I cut it down too short. So this is, I'm going to put this one aside. So these are the um, the new envelopes that I'm going to be adding in in this video. And then I'm also going to be doing, fixing up my new uh, five dollar challenge monthly challenges this is from plan with elise i will have this link down in the description it's a uh, printable from her shop so i'll have that linked so i'm just going to prep these for the whole year because i wasn't doing that and it was kind of annoying that i should have just done it at the beginning and had them all cut up and ready to go so that's what i'm going to do for myself for next year 2024 and then i need to cut out some more of these uh trackers for my new uh envelopes that i'm putting in so i can track everything so i'll cut these up and then the other thing i'm going to do is to set up my january budget well i like to use my monthly page right here which i have a video on how i made this whole planner set up right here and all the pieces that i got i have a video of that already on my channel but i'm going to just track all my expenses on here, my bills, all my bills on here um, to, I like to track them on my, on my monthly sheet here. And then this one's already ready to go because I already have all my cash planning and my sinking fund trackers I already set that up so that I don't have to worry about that. So I have a few things to do in this video just to prep everything, not only for the new year, but also for next month because I like to do a little prep for each month at the beginning of the month. So you'll see set of videos of this at the end of the month for the next month. Okay, so let's get to, first things first, let's get into my new envelopes that I made. Actually, I need to go grab my wallet because I need to change those out. So I got my wallet and I'm just going to, I'm basically taking out all of these and changing them out. I feel like these get a little bit more wear and tear. They're the ones that I always have in my wallet that I'm flipping through, although they are in pretty good condition. It's only this one that got a little messed up because I 
I threw it in a bag and I didn't put it in a wallet because I wasn't able to fit it in there. So it got a little stained from something. I'm not sure what it's from. So I'm just going to put the same categories from here. So let me find them. The ones that are going in here. Oh, actually, I should go over the categories I'm changing. Okay. So I have subscriptions, Scentsy, Rainy Day, Emergency, um, Road Trip, Eating Out, which is in my wallet, Hobbies, Spending, Buffer, Groceries, and Coffee. These all go in my wallet. So let me stick these new ones in here. Okay, so I like to have Spending first, and then, uh, what do I do next? Okay, so Spending, oh, then Eating Out. Next, then groceries, then coffee, and then buffer. Okay, and then I gotta put the money back in here. Okay, so spending, I'm gonna stick this money in here. Eating out, I don't have anything. Groceries, I have some money in here. Coffee, nothing, and then I do have money and buffer still. Okay, so that is my wallet. That's all done. So next, I'm going to do the ones in my binder. Switch these out. Do the zippered pouches first. Okay. Oh, and I already have trackers in here. I forgot. I thought I had to make new ones. Okay, so this one's rainy day. Rainy day. I want to put this in alphabetical order. And then this one is, it says Canva, but it's actually going to be subscriptions. Just wanted to be like generic kind of across the board subscriptions. And then next is Road Trip. Road Trip. Here. And then this one is Scentsy. Okay, so these are all done. Put in there. Okay. So, and then these, I do have one in here that I need to transfer out. Okay. So. Let's see, I believe I have emergency in here, so let me do that one first. Emergency. Which is going to be this new one. Take this one out. Put all of this in here. And then this one's in this envelope, so I'll do that one in a sec. So now I need to just put these in alphabetical order because that's how I like to arrange them in here. So we have the R's first, and then the S's next. This is registration. Okay, so this is here. R, and then this is registration, and then road trip is next. And then S's. Okay, cool. So that's all done in there. And they all had trackers. I didn't have to do anything tracker-wise. Um, new trackers, at least. 
And then this is Hobbies, which is actually going to be my new envelope for planner, planner stuff. Just because this one, it, it's not just planner stuff that I like to buy with this. It's anything hobby related. So that's hobbies. Yeah. I actually need to laminate this again. Okay, but I'll do that later. All right, so that one's good. Now, the next thing I want to do is... Now that, those are all in their place. I'm actually going to cut down all of these. So I like to use like any kind of paper trimmer. I have this like Fiskars one that's nice. I also just got this one that has like this nice. I like that this one has the clamp to hold it down. So this one's been really nice to use. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do this on camera because I'll lower my, actually let me lower. I don't know why my desk is so high. So let me lower my desk a little bit. Um, I think you can kind of sort of see it a little bit. But um, I'm just going to cut these down to size. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll try to do a couple on camera. So let's do the tracker first. I'm still learning how to use this thing, like where the, the lines should be and all that. Because that's the part it's a little tricky for me. Okay, for the most part, it's, yeah, it's like right on there. Okay, cool. And then I'm just going to trim away on the sides. Okay, so just trimming down. This one in the middle. I find that this one's just harder for me to use. Um, just eyeballing it. Measuring wise, this one's easier to use, I feel. But I don't know, I feel like the other one's a lot easier. But this one cuts so much nicer, which is good. Not perfect but it'll do that one. And a little bit off of this side okay so i think that'll that'll do it doesn't have to be perfect so that's that one and then the other one that i'm going to be cutting up are the challenges so this is the five dollar challenge right here and i have one for each month which is really nice. So I'm going to cut all these up so that way I have them ready to go. And this one I like to cut within the lines, like within the solid line. I just find it to be a little bit easier to take in and out of my like envelopes if I do it this way. Okay, so let me cut this side. So you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. Just trimming, trimming, trimming. Okay, so there, that's kind of the size that I want. I find that that's, that comes in and out of the little pouches um, pretty easily for those. Okay, so I'm going to continue on. I'm not going to bore you with me cutting because you kind of get the idea. Um, and I find that this is a nice thing to do when you're watching like TV or something. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna watch something and then cut. Okay, so I cut up everything. These, not so much the best, but I just eyeballed it. Um, but yeah, all good. 
So I have my trackers and then I have this savings December or sorry, the yearly savings challenge, which actually okay, this one is so in this printable, there's two December ones, so you can choose which one you want to use. And I think for next year I want to use the trees. I use these for this year so I'll save that one off to the side so this one's going to be for this year and then this is just a savings challenge like an anything savings challenge uh which I don't have that I'm not gonna I don't think I'm gonna use that one but I do like to use the monthly ones so we have November October September um August July June May April March February and January so those are all of the challenges and actually I need to update this over here. So I'm going to do a little unstuffing in this video. So I have this savings challenge right here which is all complete and I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to take this out since I'm done with this one. And then start, even though my cash stuffing, actually no, I'm going to do, because I have one more cash stuffing and it's technically going to be on the last day of December. So I'm going to do one more stuffing of this, okay? And then these I'm just going to put in a little zippered envelope like this and have them all in the back. Let me take this one out. Okay, so these will be back here for me to grab once I am done with the challenge. And then this one, I'm just going to put in here in the back. This is the new one that I'm gonna be starting once I fill this in one more time. Okay, so those are the savings challenges. Everything else stays the same. I still have this Go Wild one, which I'm saving towards for next year. I st I'm still finishing up this $3 one, so that one is going to stay the same. Also, this 52-week one, I'm not done yet with it. M100 envelope, I'm not done, and the roll, roll the dice, I'm not done with that one either. Okay, so that's all the savings challenges for this month, or sorry, for next year. And then the trackers... I need to update some trackers in here. So I'm just going to go through my envelopes and see, like, see this one right here is full. So I need to do a new one just to get this um, started all nice and a new one. So this one's beauty. Oh, and I want to mention my pen because I always get questions on pens and sometimes I forget to link the pens. So this one I got off of Amazon. I literally typed in like cute pen and and found these. They come in like different colors too. They're really good pens. So I'll I'll link it. Check 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 down in the description. So it should be linked. But if I didn't, then just type in cute pens and you'll see like a whole pack of colors of these. That sometimes I just type in like aesthetic pens or cute pens and I check to see if there's anything new. And then if I see anything, like so far the pens I've gotten off of Amazon have been pretty good. So yeah, that one's a good one. Okay, so this one's, I'm going to toss this and I'm just going to put this new tracker in here. Beauty one. Let's see, clothing is good. Content is good. Costco, that one's good. Family, I'm going to change family. This one is all practically full. Okay, so I'm just writing in family. And then here I'm going to write in the amount I have, which is 38 at this starting balance part. So that one is good to go. Fun. This one's almost, yeah, I'm going to start this one new too because it's almost done. So we got fun. And this one's starting balance is 55 in this one. Fun. Gifts. Okay, this one definitely needs a new one because I was writing on the back. So that's gifts. $82. I actually 
I had printed them front and back one time and I forgot how I did it. So it's just like aligning them to match. That's the part that I need to figure out how I did that last time. Um, holiday decor is good. Home decor is good. Okay, household. I need a new one. It has $2 in it. $2. Okay, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna change this one because now this one is called hobbies instead of planner stuff. So hobbies, which has 39. It's good. Okay, so that one's all done. Then let me go into the black one. Let's see if anything needs to be changed out. Electronics needs a new one. Electronics, which has a balance of three fifty. Okay, emergency is good, extra debt is good, furniture is good, rainy day, good, that one's good, road trip, good, okay, these are good because they're all new, and treat yourself, you know, I'm going to start this one too, a new one, it's almost done, treat yourself. Starting balance is 2,211. Okay, and then I have one more that I've been meaning to put a tracker in that's finally gonna get a tracker, which is my Christmas. Oh, and I actually need to change this out too. So I'm gonna take this Christmas envelope out. So this is my Christmas binder, and I'm just going to put this away with all my Christmas stuff for next year like all of these. So I have each person has their own cute little envelope that I made that I purchased things for in my family. And everybody's money has been spent or rolled over into Christmas. So I don't have any more money in here, but I'm gonna save this for next year. So that's gonna go away. But Christmas is gonna stay as is. I'm actually gonna keep it like this cute little Christmassy envelope because it's, it's pretty. I love how that one turned out. So I have Christmas. And this one has a balance of a dollar. One dollar. One whole dollar. Nice. I'm stuffing more in this this week. So, But this time I have... So I definitely met my goal when it came to saving for Christmas. I My goal was 600 for individual gifts for my family. And I was able to do that with less than a year. So I'm excited. I'm going to bump up my goal for next year, which I'll talk about in another video. Um, but yeah, I'm sure I'll be able to make that one no problem. And then this one's going to go in this black binder now because this is my like long-term binder. So this one's just going to go here. Christmas. So that one's going to be there now. Okay. So that is all the the uh, trackers. I'm trying to remember what else I have to do. Trackers, all good. Um, these, I'm just gonna put in here and save them. I'm not sure yet where they're gonna be exactly. But I'll just put these in here for now so they don't get bent or ruined. Now, next thing I'm gonna do, so that's everything when it comes to updating my binders, I believe, unless I remember something in a bit and have to go back to it. So what I'm gonna do now is my monthly section. So you can see how I fill out my monthly for the beginning of the month. I have two sticker books that I like to use for my monthly section. I have a boxes sticker book. This is from Mojo Jojo Plans and she has a lot of amazing box stickers and lots of colors, which I like to color code on my monthly, so that's what I plan on doing in this one. And then this one just matches like the aesthetic of the colors that I'm using. So it's save and now spend later. I don't know if this one's still available anymore, but Happy Planner has a lot of like budgety kind of books. They usually come out with them um, actually around this time of the year. So there's, there's 
there's usually a budget book that you can purchase. So I'm going to reference this sheet right here, which are all of my bills that are coming out of my bank account. I don't cash stuff my bills. I do track my rent because I do like to like split the payment between all of my incomes. So that's the only one I really like kind of sort of track, but everything else stays in the bank. And I just use the monthly to see like which bills I have to pay for the paycheck that happens each week. Another good thing that I'm super grateful for is that I do get paid weekly at my job. I work in an office and it's just something that they've always had set up. I've had another job where I was paid weekly like this my other or other jobs too that were paid bi-weekly but this isn't my first job that's been paid weekly and I always enjoyed having a weekly paycheck because I find it's easier to manage that way but if you get paid bi-weekly and if I was getting paid bi-weekly I would just split my check in two and cash stuff it that way like so that way it is kind of like I'm getting paid weekly I just I just find it easier to manage the money within a week's time period versus two weeks time period so that's what I that's what I do with mine. I do get paid weekly and then I have other income um, that comes in from other places that I like to stuff with and yeah, keep track of. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to take this sticker book right here, which is the monthly boxes. I like to use these like small little boxes here. And like I said, I like to color code them. So I have all these colors here that I can use. I've used a lot of them. But I think I still have a good amount that I can pull from here. I have a ton of JoJo's books because I'm one of her affiliates and she sends me all of her stuff. So I have codes to everything, like all of these. I have like 10% off codes if you're interested in purchasing because I feel like this one's very handy. And also she came out with recently this book, which is just all of these. I'm waiting to use up all of these before I get into here, but it's just all this size, which is perfect for, for this monthly. I don't know if that one's still available, but I'm sure it was like really popular and she's pretty good about restocking. So yeah, hopefully that happens if it's out of stock. So what I like to do is I'm gonna go down the line. This is, this is the date that the bill usually comes out of my account. The, um, the name of the bill and then the amount that it is. So I'm just gonna take these and put them down. So um, let me actually use, I'm gonna use this like, this color right here and put this here. This is for rent. And then once the bill comes out, what I like to do, it's like my way of checking it off like, like it came out of my bank account, is I'll write the actual amount that came out because like my rent is $2,400, but it's usually, like 2,390 something. It's usually not 2,400. I always try to save a little bit over. It's It kind of is around that area because it also includes my water and the water fluctuates. So yeah, so it's not always 2,400. So I like to write what it actually was in here. And I just write, when I write it in each of these boxes, that means that it's been paid and it's out of my bank account. And I don't have to worry about it anymore or like, you know, account for it when it comes to budgeting. So here I'm just going to write rent. Okay, that one's rent. And then another thing that I like to keep in mind is when my paydays are. Mainly my full-time job. So I usually get paid technically Wednesday, but it hits my account on Tuesday. I get like early advance payments or something at my bank. So... I'm counting Tuesdays as my payday, and I actually have five paydays this month, which is really nice, especially after the holidays. So excited for that. So I'm gonna take this one. This is where this book comes in. I like to use these little like money stickers because the, the colors kind of coordinate. Now, I'm gonna go into a new color because this is not for this bill or for this um, pay period. This, well, this actually came out of like all my pay periods from the previous month but I like to change up the color once it hits Tuesday so just to keep it all the same for me I'm going to change up the color so the next color is going to be if I have any more of these oranges I'm going to change it to orange so we'll see if I have orange because I think I might have I have one 
I have one. <laughs> I have one. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to do orange. Um... Oh, wait, I have two, three. Hold on. Let's see how many do I need. I need one, two, three. I need four, though. Okay, so I can't use orange for this one. So I'm going to go to the next color, which is the next color yellow I do have yellow I need four one mm. not that yellow one two three okay I guess I don't have yellow <laughs> not the like not super bright yellow I'm using like the darker ones oh here you go no right here is this the same one yeah okay sorry took a bit for me to figure that out so here i'm gonna do my cox which is the second so that comes out here i have a new bill which is max so i'm doing like the hbo I got rid of Netflix because they don't let you share passwords anymore and I don't like that. So I got HBO Max because they still let you share and I can share with my sister. Um, and she pays for Peacock, which I watch a lot of Peacock. <laughs> um, so I like that one. So eight is going to be this color too. And I just need one more of those little stickers. One more. I know I saw one more. So I'm double, I'm going to put two on top of each other because I have two bills on the 8th. I have Prime and Apple. So I'm going to write these in here. Okay, Cox. I probably should have taken these out of the disc, but I'm being lazy, I guess. Then I have Max. Okay, I think I, I'm going to take it out. Okay, then I have Prime and Apple. Okay, and then I'm going to go back into the Happy Planner sticker book, grab this little, did I get my tweezers, um, yellowy dollar sign sticker, and this is going to be my payday, payday sticker here. And then when I get paid, I'm just going to write how much I got paid there, and then this like this color coding means that this payday pays for all these like yellowy boxes. I have to account for that, for all these bills coming out from this paycheck. That's kind of how I do this. Now I'm gonna switch the color because this is a new pay period. Okay, so back to the colors, which one am I going to next? I'm not gonna do this yellow because it's too close to that one. So I'm gonna go to green and I do have, oh, I have this green. So I'm gonna do this green right here. This one I have, um, okay, so the 11th, I actually have three on 11, and the 15th I have two, so I have three, four, five, I need five of these stickers, let me double check, okay, so I got plenty of these, so my little sheet so I have three on the 11th which I can stack three boxes on top of each other in this monthly so very nicely stack them on top of each other so that's Geico Geico Wells and SDGNE, which is my electric. Okay, and then the next two are on the 15th. So that's gonna go here. Okay, so I had to take a little break because my brother called me and so she was chatting it up with him and I'm trying to remember where I was. Okay, so I put the 15, okay, so I need two for the 15 in the green. Green, green, green here. 
I know I have more. Okay, perfect. So green. Once I use up these and go into that other book, it's gonna be so much easier to find colors. <laughs> so 15 is here. All right, and then that is Verizon and Zoom. Verizon and Zoom on the 15th. And then I'm gonna grab my little These tweezers weren't the best. Kind of going back to these tweezers. Okay, and this one's gonna go here. So this green, this paycheck will pay all of these bills. Okay. Hoping that makes sense. I'm sure it does though. Next color is let's go with this pretty blue color. Should I do this darker blue? Because I do have this darker blue. Yeah, we'll go with this darker blue because I rarely use it. So the next one are that are gonna be in this color are the 16th, 19th, and 22nd. So I have one, two, three, four bills for this darker blue color. So 16. 19 and 22 I have two all right so 16 is my dental Nineteenth is my magic key, which is my Disney pass. And actually, so this is actually renewing in February. So I need to figure out. I I should have next for next renewal, not this upcoming renewal. For next renewal, I'm gonna probably do an envelope. So I'll probably have to make an envelope for that. For the because when you have to renew, you have to make an initial payment towards it, and then you go back to your monthly payments, or I think you do the initial payment plus a monthly payment. So in February, it's going to be a little bit more expensive for this because I'm renewing, um, and I didn't plan ahead for that. So fun. And then over here, I have Disney Plus and my rent insurance. Okay. So those are going to be coming out of this paycheck right here. This blue paycheck. Okay, next paycheck is going to be this lighter blue color right here. Should I go to purple? I'm going to go to purple just to change it up. Okay, so purple is going to be the 24th. Just the 24th. I only have one bill, which is Spotify, and it's super cheap. It's like $10. Okay, so this one is for my purple paycheck. I'm going to grab this purpley dollar sign here. For this paycheck. And then the last two bills are Canva and Adobe, and those come out the 30th, so that's going to be the next color, which I'm going to do pink. I never do pink. So it'll be this light pink, which is the 30th. Okay. And then this is going to be Canva and Adobe. And I'm actually working on this, making this into an annual subscription. I'm saving towards that so I won't have this monthly payment. I'll just do the, the yearly payment and then I won't have to worry about it throughout the year. So, oh, I used the wrong color. <laughs> Oops. This one is gonna go down here. And this purple one, my bad. Let me grab a purple. It's not the same purple, but that's okay. This is the purple one. Okay, that makes more sense. So those are all my bills. And then I'm just going to put in... Mm, oh, no, that's it. Those are the only ones that I wanted to color code. Okay, and then there's one last thing. I remembered the last thing 
that I wanted to do that's on here. My monthly is all done. Oh, sorry, I forgot to write in here. Jeez. 24 is Spotify. 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 Okay, and then this is gonna go back in the front. The last thing I want to do is unstone and stuff in this video. No, I'm not going to end stuff in this video. I'll do that in another video just because I feel like this one's going to be kind of long. So I'll do that in an unstuffing video. But that's going to be it for this video. Setting up my binders. They're all ready to go for the year and also for January. So I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next one.